So we've been looking at PPCs, long-range missiles, big guns, AC-20. Fritz here focusing on, on the big damage, the alpha, the mega, the meta. And then to balance it out, we were looking at machine guns, medium lasers, small lasers, looking at this idea of, of weapons independent, although not always, of mechs and vehicles, and trying to build that tactic a checklist of how to utilize. So let's jump in with short-range missiles. Short-range missiles. We've got two-pack four pack six pack it is ammo dependent which means it's going to be sitting in your mech uh, right away that kind of uh, takes it to the point where if you go to internals if you get a crit your ammo could explode the actual danger of that really depends on a lot you know if you're a light mech and it's going internals you're probably going to get cored out and just drop and fall in half and your engine's going to drop out before there's ammo explosion i mean it could happen it's battle tech but the odds are less. Um, if you're a heavier type mech, where now you take a lot of damage, you can keep going, internals open up, that's a possibility. Uh, do you just have the short-range missiles and the rest is energy-based? Or, or do you have a mix of um, long-range missiles, You know, something like the T-Bolt, right? Various mechs that mix long-range machine guns or autocannons, missiles. Um, from that perspective, you're probably not any more vulnerable or not, but I feel like for those of us new to BattleTech, new to this game, you know, you got to realize the difference between energy and ammo, and it's not necessarily always number of shots. It's the risk of going to internals and knowing how to manage that, and and a lot depends also where the ammo is located. Ammo located on your arms for some reason is a lot more vulnerable than if it's in your center torso. By the time you get in center torso, you're probably in trouble anyway. So short-range missiles, um, say compared to small lasers, compared to medium lasers, we, we, do have, we do have the ammo factor. The main thing about the short-range missiles is, in my mind, two-for-one punch on average. Now, how many missiles hit, the spread, all that aside, it is a way to multiply one shot into two most of the time. This means um, double the chance to crit seek. I mean, you know, damage is okay for what it is. Short range missiles are very powerful on lighter mechs, in my opinion, because that allows you to uh, think. You know, think about a light mech with um, short range missile pack and a medium laser, two weapons. But it has the ability every time it shoots, you know, put hitting aside and we'll do the modifier thing to either hit twice or potentially three times from that perspective. The laser is always one. The missiles are one or two, depending on the spread. It's not so much about the damage on a light mech, but being able to hit different locations means if there's a shot of opportunity, target of opportunity against an assault mech, that's three shots for the price of two. If you're going against a light versus light, you've got kind of an advantage because that's three shots for the price of two, both in causing damage and in searching and looking for crits. It's a great way to, um, to, to mount that, again, on a light mech, which you don't have the tonnage. Then you got to put the engine in. you got to put the components in. you got to put the primary weapon in. It's a great way to get that little boost. So I see short-range missiles as a force multiplier for hitting and a force multiplier for crit seeking. But it's not always about just uh, the crit seeking. Anytime you get more shots, you take a shot to the head, we've got to make that consciousness check. Um, if you take a certain amount of damage, I mean, it, it could add up. You take a certain amount of damage, you got to make pilot skill checks. Those additional shots are very, very welcomed from that perspective. Now, there is, of course, a difference between being... Uh, Let's say a battle master where you're running up and you got the lasers, you got the machine guns, you got the short range missiles, you got the PPC. The short range missiles in that pack is, is one wave of massive stuff, but it's still a force multiplier. On the lighter mechs, significant force multiplier. So I tend to want to take I tend to want to take light mechs with that short range missile aspect. So let's look at this also this idea of it being a very, very short ranged punch. You got to get up there, right? It's it's the type of thing you want to be point blank. You want to cut down on those modifiers. So now you start to see short range missiles, kind of the beehive approach. Run up to a beehive and kick it over. I mean, you know, don't really, but that's that's the analogy. Taking short range missile carriers 
or short-range missile boats, if they get up there and they unleash and fire, that spread is across the entire mech if it hits. And uh, we see this similar to this idea of infantry. Infantry are interesting because if you get three or four stands of infantry and they hit and they shoot, the the damage, the way it's clustered, it's going to be multiple spots. You know, they're just sitting there shooting. It's all different areas. The mech is huge. It's moving. That's kind of represented in the rules. That's a great way to strip the facing off a mech. That's the great way to kind of, if one area is damaged, you know, like, so say I take a medium mech, I take an AC-10 hit to the left torso. I still got some bite in there. I still got some armor, but it's weakened. I want to start really trying to pound on that. Now, facing is going to help, but more importantly, the more weapons, the more spread I can get, it's going to more of a chance to hit from that perspective. So it, it, we see the short range missiles uh, really effective when a mech has taken some damage in one or two spots and you want to further weaken it. You want to further push it through. Or if you're just looking for that spread at the very beginning of the encounter to be able to just strip off as much as you can and push forward. But that you need this, this beehive effect. Um, look at short range missile carriers. First time you look at that, that uh, tech sheet, you're like, is this a misprint? There's that many short-range missiles? Uh, there's a lot of tactica in the short-range missile carrier. I uh, posted that vlog up to my Battletech channel here under the playlist. I say that because, uh, on a side note, yes, absolutely run out, buy two short-range missile carriers. You're going to have a ton of fun, but they are very, very nuanced. There's, there's some serious tactica in, in running them that we want to be uh, aware of. It's not just like drive up and fire them. No one, mech commander, mech warrior, tank ace is, is going to let you roll up with that so your idea of tactica for the short range missiles and and again the big takeaway for me as a new player pushing that out there if you're a new player is to understand it's a two for one and on the lighter mechs or the limited mechs or if you're up close that two for one possibility um, is is where it really really shines and and gives you that little extra push that little extra punch for the battle value 